There was a lot at stake in the sense that the banking system was profoundly dysfunctional. To lose credibility in that environment, it would have had a very severe long-term effect on employment and the prospects for recovery. When the crisis first hit, the government panicked and guaranteed all this debt. And suddenly, all this debt ended up in the hands of the taxpayer. By early 2009, the government had laid out a multi-year program of fiscal adjustment. They were hoping that this was a temporary panic. It actually turned out the banks were in deep financial trouble because they'd made all these loans for real estate and real estate prices went down by 60%. Around September, October 2010, this was a banking system that was having a cardiac arrest. Why then? Because it was two years after the initial post layman's guarantee that was put in in Ireland. And so there was a funding cliff. The markets began to get very nervous and they would not extend new loans. So this is a bank run. There was one day in November when a billion euros of retail money left the banking system. The game was up. So at that stage, it was becoming less likely that Ireland would be able to fund itself, the state or the banking system, in the following year. Banks were unable to finance themselves, and it was clear that something had to be done. It was a classic moment for appealing to the IMF for financial assistance. <laughs> 